We begin tonight with new details as they emerge as the body of a missing mother is found. But her children are still nowhere to be found. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi is live in Detroit with an answer to a question many are asking. Why is there no Amber Alert, Andy, for these kids? You know, that's the million dollar question for families. Now, family members are out here at the U Haul south of Eight Mile on Livernois. They are looking for answers. Family members yesterday night told me the body of Alicia Fox was found wrapped in a U Haul moving blanket. It's why they're out here. Again, these children are still missing. And family members wondering why no Amber Alert. Here's what Chief Craig had to say. Certainly, the information that uh, we first received uh, didn't raise the alarm. Timing and circumstance may have played major roles in the decision not to issue an Amber Alert for six-year-old Kayla Hunter and six-month-old Christian Justice. Their mother, Alicia Fox, found dead Monday night inside a vacant home on Detroit's west side. While Fox's family tells us the three have been missing since June 1st, Police Chief James Craig points out Fox's phone sent a text message on June 3rd in addition to this detail. The mother... Uh, packed up and left her residence with her children. And so uh, at that point, it hadn't become an emergency a situation. Chief Craig points out the FBI, Michigan State Police, and Detroit Police all continue to search for the children. But as far as the threshold for issuing Amber Alerts? Case by case. I mean, uh, when an adult leaves, um, when you talk about domestic situations, someone leaves their home, there's messaging going back and forth, and there's no... Uh, indication that something's wrong. Alicia Fox's cousin Brenda Fields joins us. This has been a long ordeal for you. What are your thoughts on Chief Craig's words today? Um, I didn't agree with what he said. Um, there was an indication that Alicia and the children were missing, that they hadn't left home willingly, that Kayla hadn't been to school. Um, Alicia and Kayla didn't arrive at Kayla's graduation last week. Um, the neighbors had seen Aaron moving out along, alone. There were a lot of things that went on, and Alicia wasn't involved at all, you know, at all. So we were concerned. Uh, family members, at, at least 25 of us, we went up to the 12th precinct and we said, look, our family member is missing. Um, she's not answering calls. We haven't seen her. The neighbors haven't seen her. Um, she hasn't been in contact with Kayla's school. She missed some other, you know, important dates that she already had scheduled. So why wouldn't these children qualify for an Amber Alert? Um, Alicia was found last night on Penrod. Kayla and Christian wasn't with her, so they're still considered missing children. Missing children, they, they qualify for Amber Alerts. Why aren't these two? We, we, you know. Now, Chief Craig mentioned that Alicia moved out with the kids. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? That's not true. The neighbors never seen Alicia moving out with the children. They only seen Aaron moving out. Um, so I don't know, you know. Aaron is Alicia's husband. Aaron is Alicia's husband. I don't know where Chief Craig got his information, but that's not the same information we provided to the police. Brenda, thank you so much. I know it's been a long ordeal for you. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Again, a lot of questions, not only here at the U-Haul, but obviously with investigators at DPD. So many more questions. Coming up at 6, we will talk more about the roles the two fathers played in all of this. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. We're live in Detroit. Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Yeah.